The Bell family in Caister and District go back to at least 1590. For this talk we are particularly interested in Joseph and, I believe, his father John. In 1775 and 1776 John Bell is on the list of freeholders as a grocer, but between 1777 and 1782 as a yeoman. It is possible, but I have found no evidence, that John's grocery business was based in number two, the marketplace. In February 1779, Joseph Bell is a mercer and marries Francis Tess of North Kelsey. They have children, Dixon, who becomes a caster tradesman, Anna, who died at six months, Francis, who died at the age of about three years, Mary, Elizabeth and John. Between 1781 and 1798, Joseph appointed a number of apprentices, including James Fagan. Joseph was very much involved in the community, being on the freeholders and jurors list, and attending a number of public meetings in the town. He subscribed as much as five guineas to the Voluntary Defence Fund in 1798, and the same towards the North Lincolnshire Legion in 1803. In October 1792, he attended a meeting about an intended canal between Caister and the River Ancombe. The following year, there is a meeting of hat, gloves and perfumery retailers at the George Inn to agree to pay the stamp duty imposed on those items. Then, in 1794, Joseph attended a weights and measures meeting in support of the selling of corn at a measure equal to the Winchester bushel and of selling wool at 28 shillings and locked at £14 to the stone. But by 1806 Joseph is bankrupt. There is a two-day sale of his effects. He had lived well, surrounded by middle-class comforts and amenities.